అందరికి సంతోషంగా ఉందా ఆర్ యు ఆల్ హ్యాపీ బి ఆల్వేస్ హ్యాపీ 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 సైరామ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ మై హంబల్ ప్రణామ్స్ ఎట్ ది లోటు స్వీట్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ మోస్ట్ బిలోడ్ భగవాన్ dear brothers and sisters i thank swami for making this trip possible and a reality this time at least at last because in the past there were three occasions when the program was almost finalized yet i could not make it up but better late than never okay i am quite happy to be here amongst you right across the country i experience the height of devotion i was very much pleased with the activities going on in this country in fact i have been meeting devotees in large numbers from south africa right from the year 1990 so i know most of you face is so familiar as well well this seems to be a mixed group though i have been asked to focus my attention on youth well i would take youth and youthful both groups are here <laughs> because if we go by baba's standard and what are his remarks about youth he was telling one day that bishma charya bishma 112 chief chief of big army battalion 112 only and krishna and arjuna 78 and 75 the youngest boys heading this company therefore it's not the age that matters it is the spirit that counts the bubbling enthusiasm the dynamism the commitment these are the qualities of youth and what does swami expect from youth before i go into other details first let me share with you some of my views on youth and its act and their activities by and large many people say that i am a devotee of baba i stay back at home i see some devotees say that i am benefited baba baba did a lot to me uh, so what and some say oh i got these rings i got so many pad namaskars i was given interview then what we don't want any personal biographical data which amounts to your own propaganda blowing your own trumpet if we do not act in a befitting way so we should act appropriate to say in general what do i mean by that my friends let us be very clear that we are in different times now what was true then is no longer true now till now people have been just speaking about their own miracles their own experiences their dialogue while swami comes to the college in the varanda talk nonsense please stop because those days are gone those days are gone the personal interaction the personal dialogue the personal experiences they had some application some meaning and relevance till now when swami was in physical form but hereafter what happens is people will start observing you till now all observed bhagwan hereafter they will be observing you 
they are very grateful to swami till now and today people will let, look at you and observe what you are doing for swami what you are doing if i say i got that i got that then they'll say well, what is it that you are doing today gratitude what is that you are doing therefore my friends sooner we understand the difference between then and now better it is for the organization how should we go about it i shall mention few points and then come to other general topics other general incidents which you are interested in i know because the senior should not mistake this man has converted this into a classroom lecture or he, that he is giving a talk from a podium or uh, sitting on a higher pedestal certainly not i have organizational interest organizational interest and organizational involvement for 43 years 23 years working directly under the nose of swami 20 years in the organization basing on these 43 years and watching the present scenario i have certain things to share with you we should know clearly there are two points here sai mission and sai message both are equally important as we have two eyes as two ears two nostrils two one is sai message other is sai mission sai message is the heart sai message is the philosophy sai message is universal sai message is novel relevant to the present life situation to the modern situation so we should be conversant with sai literature you cannot limit yourself to your own biography no we should be able to say what swami said on different aspects authentically not your imagination hallucination nothing like that authentic version of swami's teachings on various aspects is one thing that i recommend to youth because you are sufficiently young there's a long way to go you must study sai literature study of sai literature is one important point included under nine point of code of conduct as you know well and mind you when once you are addicted to habituated to sai literature you don't need to you don't feel like reading any other book fortunately enough we have sai literature available classified on different topics we have many books question and answers also to our life situations we don't have to repeat same old thing people say of cow that what it eats it brings back and again choose we are not cows no, we are not buffaloes sai literature is so vast and infinite every presentation has got to be new and unique it should not be repetitive because such a literature fund of literature has given to us sai message and sai message gives us direction in which we are supposed to go i don't need to dictate you you don't need to tell me i both of us can certainly go to his book what did he say about youth what are his directors directives to seva del service activities what does he say about professional ethics what does he say about social ethics these are all the concepts with which we are supposed to be thorough as youth number 1 number 2 sai mission sai mission meaning activities activities i understand in some places people take advantage of the sai platform to exhibit their histrionic talents in speaking and music sai chai center is not a cultural program i am sorry it is not a music program 
it is not an entertainment program it is not to give you a chance to come out with your own talents or establish some contacts it is not any other service social clubs outside it is not like that it is not for contacts or career prospects or to gain some influence in the community it's not that sai mission is for self improvement self improvement self improvement does not mean standard of living so i am improving myself now i have mercedes well i may go for jaguar next time <laughs> self improvement is not necessarily standard of living self improvement i mean standard of life standard of life standard of life is totally different from standard of living and they both need not necessarily go together often times they are contradictory if not complementary a life of values a life exemplary a life ideal a life of dedication commitment is what i say most important in sai mission therefore let all youth understand that this sai mission is for my own improvement not to become a convener or a president or to see my newspaper my name in the newspaper on the title sheet preferably in big letters appreciative picture is also there so very cheap very cheap i tell you bhagwan baba never advertised anything anything no no publicity that's why he has become divine whereas we bring bring a potted plant just a plant in a pot shift from here and there write a letter to swami i did garden work what did you do nothing you have done <laughs> he knows he knows the drama you are acting but because of his love for children parents you know parents know what children are doing but they pretend as if they do not know because of attachment the very same parents will know whatever that is happening in the neighbor's house <laughs> they means that they don't know what is happening in their family they know but they ignore out of love bhagwan ignores like that not that he does not know therefore we as youth take sai mission with no selfishness with no self interest absolutely for self improvement what do you mean by self improvement how do you say self improvement through sai mission there are some people that say we did 100 medical camps and uh, we serve food at various centers we teach children in different schools that is non service activity forget i and we forget that he gave us chance to serve the community he gave us the blessing to offer services to the community he made us do this that is spiritual activity if you claim on your own it is personal activity prospects opportunistic selfishness horrible and terrible we should take it that he gave us an opportunity he blessed me with this opportunity that should be our attitude and then swami is always particular of this in the society by and large if anyone comes across a sai devotee or anyone from youth they should be different from the rest of the people in respect of their behavior and conduct simple example these are all from swami's discourses nothing of my imagination i can give you all references if you want i am not for concoction or imagination or maneuvering or manipulation not for this lifetime i don't do that 
had i <laughs> had i attempted that i would not have come this far 43 years of life impossible a simple example how swami does about about uh, 70 representing 700 villages 70 representatives heads district level people taluk level people county level people about 70 of them came to swami to thank him for providing drinking water thank you swami you provided us drinking water why because no government ever cared to provide drinking water to us we were struggling a lot to fetch a pot full of water and we had to walk long long distances we went through all hardships for several decades even after independence governments have come and left replacing another government politicians make promises which no one believes of course and they too don't mean that but the situation continued that we didn't have enough of water but you out of your kindness and compassion unconditional love for us provide a drinking water to all of us we have come here to thank you just imagine any one of us in his position if anyone number of people come and say thank you what would you say is that so <laughs> where are the journalists where are the cameramen where are reporters or rather you would even shout that is it now you recognize me i have been doing it long back huh? all uh, self aggrandizement self glorification bragging about it but swami see that you don't need to thank me i am not a third person i and you are one mark the every sentence because i was there at that moment they are all on record i and you are one you don't need to thank me i am not a third person and he further added do you thank your mummy mummy thank you for nice uh, dal and nice uh, uh, spinach and these things i have been watching all all, all through throughout this country <laughs> <laughs> throughout this country i like hot stuff but they are providing us uh, some chapati some bhaji and uh, uh, something like that ah huh? uh, thank you mummy for spinach thank you mummy for this uh, do you say that no and your mummy also doesn't expect so do you thank your father thanks for nice shirt and all that. you don't do that so i am not a separate man you and i are one don't thank me the height of his glory is this height of his glory what did he say i should thank you for giving me opportunity to serve you that is such a sai baba that is such a sai baba i should thank you for this opportunity of serving you we should copy his example we should emulate his example to be worthy of him that's it. another since many of the youngsters are here professionals here are here what does he say to youth <laughs> to change jobs because other fellow gives you 10 dollars more is a stupid thing that not not expected of my children is not expected of my children to shift loyalties to shift jobs for a pittance is not the quality of my children that's what baba said my children meant all youth all over the world is not anything limited to a uh, farmer students of the university no who so you see universe universality unity university all from derivatives of uni 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 one only we cannot consider ourselves that an exclusive property of baba unless you are really worthy to be put in a lunatic asylum you cannot own god 
You cannot. Do you own air? Come on, own it if you can. <laughs> do you own fire? Come on, do it. We'll appreciate. There will be one minus from this creation. <laughs> when you cannot own five elements, when you cannot own creation, how do you own creator himself? So changing loyalties, changing jobs, just for pittance, pay packet, is not the quality of my children. That's what Baba said. Then what, what youth? Professionalism. When many youth came there, one youngster got up and said, Swami, because he's an intelligent man. We are so busy, this computer world, software engineers, though they are tough inside. Hardware, heart is hardware. Talk is only software. <laughs> In these days of competition, Swami, how can we serve you? The fellow doesn't want to serve, therefore he shows the software companyism. How can we serve you? There's too much of competition. We have got the targets fixed. How can we serve you? How can we attend Sai service centers? He thought that's a good way of putting questions. Because he also said, I am from US. Another excuse. <laughs> you know what Baba said? Oh, you have no time for Sai center, no time for service activity. But you have enough of time for TV. You have enough of time for socializing people. You have enough of time to play. You have enough of time to do more jobs than what you can until you spoil your health. But you have no time to do Swami's work. But Baba is so kind. He gave wide margin. His love is incomparable. His love is unique. Understanding God. What does he say? To those who are busy, what he said is this. Dedicate all your work to me. That is enough. As you begin the day, Swami, please lead me throughout the day. May I do what is acceptable to you. May I speak what you appreciate. May I be a role model to the rest of the community which is expected of me. That's all. The whole day is spiritualized. Whole day is divinized. Toward the, at the end of the day, it is enough if you say, thank you Bhagawan for the beautiful day you have given me. For the wonderful day you have given me. I think that I made best use of it. In tune to your teachings and your principles. Finish. Therefore, it's not an excuse that I'm busy, I'm busy. Your temperament, your attitude, that's more important. And thirdly, we should have all the needed skills, all the needed skills. Skills, what do I mean? Skills of excellence in your profession. In your profession. So that the whole society will look at you. He says he is a Sai youth, but he comes late to the office. He says he is Sai youth, he knows only how to molish and polish, not to do his work to the best of his ability. Psychophancy, flattering. He doesn't do his work properly. You are bringing a bad name to Swami. Work to the best of your ability. If anyone asks you, who is he? Yes, we know him. Yes, he is dependable, responsible, creative, innovative. He is an asset to our organization. That is expected of you. How do I say that? Some of the top people, top people, bankers, 
some of the private uh, company directors they come to swami and mention swami so and so so and so youth are working in our offices we are very happy with them they are doing an excellent job you should watch swami's face how proud he feels of them how proud he feels yes they are my children they are doing doing a good job particularly when some of them come and say swami though there are other attractions for this boy to go elsewhere he stuck to my office he did not go he feels proud of them therefore others should come and say you are good is not for you to say i am the best in the community something fishy there others should be able to say that you are great that you are doing good job skills and talents to, in your own profession weekends or holidays in most of the countries people are available unless they work during those times also quite often they are quite free towards the weekends let us work for the community for the community that has given you some recognition the community that has given you job the community that pays you the pay packet the salary that you receive is from the community you may work come on you work in the sea go there do you get any salary vast sea they are walking be work there so don't say i work i therefore i get please plenty of work go there so you work in the community you work in society in the midst of men and women and so you owe a responsibility to pay your debt of gratitude yes i received so much from you and i am very grateful to you that what should we do so that the community will not call you an exploiter community will never brand you as a man unwanted anti social we should express our gratitude service is the true expression of gratitude gratitude just by a word is useless and political so i am grateful to you i am great gas number 1 he is not going to believe you <laughs> in public he may not say we know what he says we know we heard number of times his comments because no parent will condemn the son in public no parent does it but parent knows his weakness in a similar way just gratitude by way of expression is political gratitude in practice is service is service love in action is gratitude love in spirit is gratitude thanksgiving that's what swami wants us to do serve the community next serve the community after deep study of the ambience of the situation simple example if you want to arrange feeding in new york there will be nobody sitting on the street to receive food not necessary not necessary what is needed for the community please understand this all these days of my travel talking to people in south africa i could understand that this country needs so many things there are so many avenues of service there is a lot to serve if we are to be remembered in history if god is to be pleased it is only through service not by your bank account take it from me the more bank account you have the next legal hire will be awaiting your exit from the planet because he should enjoy the fruits of your labor therefore what we do that's most important needed for this country for this country i was so happy to hear that some people go and teach in schools 
teach schools children very poor children regular basis at least thrice a week or four times a week they go and teach them english mathematics science what they need and they are really showing very good results lot of gratitude children you see for adults whatever you do they will never be satisfied for lifetime for youngsters whatever little you do they will be very happy jump in joy i'm happy that work is going on in this country i'm also happy to know that the distribution of food and distribution of clothes going on very good that some are visiting hospitals some are visiting jails and extending service activities very good now comes the next aspect which i want to present before you for your consideration kindly ponder over reflect upon the lines of thought to execute i am happy that brother subri is here who is really a dynamic man who will translate his plans into action with a firm conviction and would not tolerate any indiscipline more so hypocrisy in that way both of us are of the same wavelength what i would submit to this audience to all members youth members in particular is this suicide drug addiction vagabonding aimless people gamblers this is big problem in this country how to address these problems i know some families and they complain suicides are more anil kumar in this country what can we do shall i say attend nagar sankirtan he will ask you shut your mouth if i say there's a drug addiction drugs so men drug just from zambia shifted here stock go over there what shall i do regular bhajan sai center at 6:30 please come there that's not that my friends that's not that how shall we solve these problems at least every week every week if we could transform two to three individuals that week is really sanctified that really that week it becomes sacred if we are successful in transforming two to three individuals per week transform them how to transform how to go about it that's a technique once again that's a technique how to spread sai centers how to enroll more members into sai organization it's a different technique i tell you it's a missionary zeal one should have that missionary commitment some people say oh, we don't have enough members in sai center what are you doing what attempts you made to enroll more members did you consult anybody what is it that we can do at this stage therefore the most important activity is to know the needs of this country and mold our activities in that direction most importantly transformation of youth if these youngsters take to those drugs and suicides the nation will be losing its strength the richness of its glory how to infuse faith in them how to build up self confidence in them how to bring a, bring in a kind of awareness among people the hazards health hazards if one takes to intoxicants what shall we do about it awareness drive we can do it at the individual level we can do it in a small measure talking to few youth this is more important than attending a bhajan please take it from bhajan music program good 
and in singing i compare how better you sing how better still better i can sing <laughs> that's all it's ha ah, it's not that what is it i can do how many people i have transformed that way is quite possible the modern saprandi i shall certainly share with you if you are still interested how to develop the organization yes there is a technique we all did it he made it it's quite possible there are places where people opposed communists who never wanted any religion there the fellow who was about to manhandle you with a big stick is the very same fellow who constructs a temple there sai temple there just start he will see that you'll be successful because he is a remote controller but we want to be controller lose the brake and we'll have head on injury leave it to him he'll be able to do it the next phase which i want to draw your attention is this i should tell you my friends there is nothing that we do not have in sai organization why should i say some are attracted by other schools of philosophy by other side rather jumping the fence as people change their pop parties political parties people are changing their loyalties that's not the way tell me what swami has not said for you to tell me sir i'm attracted by that therefore i'm going there i'll follow you tell me there's nothing he has not said it's our mistake for not having dived deep enough into his message there are some classes personality development health development stress management 500 dollars 10000 rupees we want to pay and go and i'll tell you freely come on i'll tell you why do you go there swami said so many things please go through summer shower in brindavan swami's discourses to youngsters where he dealt on all these aspects personality development mind management health management breath management man management he dealt on all these topics but we don't recognize it no because board their personal development 500 dollars 15 days course <laughs> crash course or crack course <laughs> one could not develop personality for lifetime how can you develop personality in 15 days am i a fool to believe am i a fool the one who says must be a fool the one who believes is a double fool is it possible impossible therefore my friends let us arrange these topics on the basis of sai literature cater to the needs of youth today cater to the requirements of youth today what do they need that i should give them because suddenly you all come here now i'll speak of shabari and dhruva arjuna dhritarashtra you never heard their names <laughs> you cannot pronounce these words you don't know the history behind but i go on speaking putra arjuna am i a mad fellow or do i think that you are all equally mad that's not the way what is relevant to the context what is applicable to the situation that we should take into account before we discharge our goods so uh, to put in a sentence please frame all the course content in accordance to the needs of our youth so that you can attract more and more youth supposing employment potential yes we will show you 
yes there's so much of employment potential yes about yoga yes we can show. you don't need to go and pay there we'll tell you what do you want we'll tell you because such a sai baba is a departmental stores you have from toothpaste to mercedes benz available if you can afford come on you can buy but you don't want it what to do what is it i can do therefore we should have some awareness of the community where we are living what is going on in contemporary organizations how people are drawn to different schools by different people how why people shift their loyalties these are the things that we should think seriously therefore i i engage you seriously on all these points because i find some youngsters here who i know you are not too are committed to these points i brought your attention my visit to cape town is fulfilled i am not a politician to carry on everybody along with me seeking your franchise not that i am not a politician and i have not get, come here for entertainment program either basing on my experience for 43 years and all the thing that i have learned from him which i want to share with you in the light of in the light of present demand present situation therefore we should be conscious of these things first of all let me be very clear if you do his work he will do your work much better than what you would have done for yourself he will do your work much better you think i will do well he will do better than you too little a glass of water and a spoon of sugar come on stir it up whole water becomes sweet similarly two hours of service activity per week spare some time so that the whole week will be sweet nectarus nectarine elixir divine ambrosia why not just make it sweet and not only that the kind of satisfaction you will have by doing service activity nobody can estimate nobody can estimate you may say i got that i got that just calculate that what you get by serving you calculate that that is nothing what you get when you serve others therefore let nobody say that i have no time for service activity that i have no time for swami's activity no you have time where there is a will there is a way when you want to meet a friend are you not going for a movie are you not going don't you drive hours and hours to meet hopeless fellows of the gang <laughs> for nothing can't you spend one or two hours for swami and you want me to believe that you have no time i am not a fool i have by baba's grace 49 years of service as professor at the university i must have met thousands and thousands of fellows you cannot dupe me at least for 10 years to come <laughs> for 10 years i know i'll give you a few examples how swami knows whatever that's happening it is a time that poor are fed it is feeding the poor never say poor feeding poor feeding is wrong usage meaning feeding is a poor standard <laughs> wrong wrong english feeding the poor is correct expression and equivalent narayana seva nobody will understand i know that because they don't know narayana himself how do i expect you to know narayana seva <laughs> forget about it <laughs> now 
prior to that prior to that in the hall swami wanted the prasadam food to be served to guests and students all are there and he wanted some boys to serve prasadam on every paper plate ready so that all guests would come say food prayer and start eating so they did it one student unfortunately while serving some portion fell on the ground what he did was he pushed that portion under the paper plate and kept some more prasadam on the plate extra so that it would not be a flying saucer so that that which is pushed under the paper plate nobody can see that that's what that boy did nobody knows because nobody still have not started eating they are still waiting for a call from swami all came there seated food prayer over they are about to eat he called one boy come here you go there last row third plate you go there he went there are you lift the paper plate <laughs> there he saw that sweet rice ponga <laughs> then he called him back and said you have done two mistakes one while serving you are careless because you it cannot fall on the ground first mistake secondly you wanted to cover it with the paper plate thinking that swami does not know are will paper plate cover my eyes is it possible i know be responsible hereafter that's what he told him this is an example for all of us to know that he watches and that he is a witness to every one of our activity that we cannot we cannot even elders most of us have committed such mistakes have learned out of experience a learned experience the distribution of shawls blankets to poor people was arranged one day and he asked few people to distribute they distributed and returned swami asked complete yes is the stock over no swami still more so many i say okay swami went in his car supervised the entire street you could find many more people who are yet to receive the blankets he himself got down and distributed the blankets and told these volunteers that you said uh, all received this is the way they received why do you do that why do you bluff you have not distributed further you tell me that distribution over everybody got it what is this bluffing with me whereas you see on this dais baba knows everything but is this way i know this is not the way so there are certain tough lessons that we learn by experience and if we don't learn still wait for the next life we can't help that that's instance that i can never forget i can also tell you another another instance where swami looks at one student and says last night what were you doing studying are whom are you telling study you are moving room to room like a cat and a rat i know i know what you are doing the, the they may be trivial matters but they tell us that he is everywhere that he knows that he knows i'll give an instance um 
Be better I don't mention his name because he may feel sorry. Because he, he, he should feel bad about it. This gentleman went to Germany to do his postdoctoral research. At that time in Germany, there is a famous uh, or notoriously famous thing going on there. What is it? Germany for Germans. Germany for Germans. Others come and shoot, finish. That was the situation. And see Swami's grace. Swami devotees, Germans, provided him accommodation. He served them food. He was amidst them under their care, lived in safety and security until he completed his postdoctoral degree. That is his love. Having received his love so much, well, how do you bluff and how do you act against his teachings? Is that possible? Impossible. I'll give you another instance. He is my friend's son. Yes. After completing his 12th class, he wanted to become a homeopath. Somebody told him that uh, there in Greece, the international doctor is there, and uh, if anyone is trained by him, that he would be very popular and most successful. This boy wanted to go to Greece. After his 12th class study, he went there, Greece. Now the story. He was running short of one or two documents. Documents are not full. Therefore, at the immigration counter, they checked all the papers. They have put him behind the bars. Behind the bars. I'll give you the door number, name of the boy, if you still demand. The jail now. He went on crying. Just what happens? Some of Sai devotees have come to know that a boy is in trouble. They come to the police station. They allowed him to be released on bail and got all the documents, missing documents, all the way from India. And they took this boy to the topmost doctor and they told him that this boy wants to be a homeopath. He came all the way to study under you. He said, welcome. He kept him at his residence for two years. He taught him. Will that fellow can ever convey his gratitude in, in his lifetime? One life is not enough. One life is not enough to convey the gratitude. How Swami saves individuals. So it's great to say, I, Swami did to me, Swami did to me. All right, what are you doing to him? What is it time to do in return? Therefore, I have seen so many instances, so many instances, Swami indulging. Yes. One very famous man went to Abu Dhabi with Swami's pictures and Vibhuti Prasadam. They did not allow him to go. Go back. This is not the place for Baba and Vibhuti. Please go back. A famous man, very famous man, a professor. He was earning well. And he wanted to earn more. Why did he earn there? Imprisonment. We should understand. There is some limit for anything. At that moment, he was very, very panicky. Then when they were about to check his suitcase again, photos were missing. The packets were missing. Then they said, sorry doctor, you may go now. Straight. And he goes home to find pictures and vibhuti packet as they are, as, they, as he brought them from India, intact. And he worked for some time and returned, joined as a 
specialist in super specialty hospital and swami gives him an interview and tells you are not satisfied with the money you are getting here you wanted to get money there you would have been kept in the jail for 6 years at least i saved you they could not see your pictures but your pictures are there in your custody you know be careful don't be too uh, ambitious in life let us be happy whatever we have and he gave him some short talk telling him how he saved his life like this there are many many instances when swami intervened and saved his life mr subri i have few statements to make now malaysia malaysia brought out handbooks on service activities very good the youth leadership drive in malaysia is exemplary exemplary indonesia youth they constructed 108 water tanks for poor people in mountain areas where they had no access to pure water indonesia 108 water tanks here this important for you to know malaysia indonesia they are muslim countries and no sai function ever takes place without prime minister president vice president central ministers participating in sai meetings sai fraternity sai service activities are most popular in those countries though they are muslim dominated the easiest way to reach masses the surest way to win the credibility accountability of the community is only service through service we'll have our accountability our respect no other way so the service activities going on in malaysia youth indonesia in singapore where the activities are unbelievable they have list of the old people i mean physically old because no one can be mentally old impossible so physically handicapped who can't move they have the list of those people when they press a button the seva the people will come to know that so and so is in a problem this being technologically advanced age a chair will climb up the steps on its own the old man can sit and the chair will come down the steps on its own and he will be taken to the hospital they wanted me to sit on the chair i said wait <laughs> i told them still time still time now because <laughs> no one can escape that still time not now and i also saw youth working in the homes for the age giving them the activity they need old people does not mean those who are waiting for death you don't need to wait for death it come on, comes on its own in not dragging the life i saw some elderly people playing cards at one place i saw some elderly people watching tv i saw some elderly people doing some exercise physiotherapy playing caroms and i saw some of the youth members talking to them showing their albums some people because of the age problem they become forgetful they forget their own kith and kin they don't remember they don't identify they go on showing their family pictures uh, uh, you remember them they go on talking to them that's happening in singapore like this not that i'm here to sermonize what others are doing no you are doing in your own way your activity is no way inferior to other activities i am not that fellow to compare comparisons are odious 
and things are relative what is good at one stage may not be at later stage just information i am sharing with you that's all information unbelievable thing is in sri lanka jafna jafna is a very risky area as most of you know as you see the newspapers how many are shot dead in those times of ltt tamil elam group you know what it is and we had been there to the jafra my children warned me is that the place in the world that you have chosen ultimately to visit <laughs> is that the place you go there we are good to you still why do you want to go there <laughs> why do you want to go there <coughs> but i thought anil kumar is not for san francisco new york no let me go to those areas see what i can do how i can encourage people how i can serve people how i can motivate people you don't need to dig a well by the side of ganges there's water already here so we should go to those areas that need your help that need your kind of uh, motivation to my surprise friends jafna is the place where after 9:30 in the night or 9 o'clock no one moves along the streets all lights are switched off that's all because of ltt bombing and all that besides that at every point you will be checked to reach the airport you have to get down at one place they will take you in a truck take you somewhere and there they'll check and send you you will be wondering or what is happening to me why should i come after all for all this but unbelievable thing is jafna conducted ehv training education in human values training to teachers 6000 in number uk could not do it us could not do it canada could not do it india also did not do it understand why jafna could do it it only means devotion has no barriers devotion has no territorial limits anybody anywhere can rise to occasion so coming back to the point sir i want some youth camps such as i youth camps to be conducted here in south africa such as a youth camps so that youth will be encouraged to join our organization how long the elderly people continue how long you cannot move you cannot talk still you want to hold on to the position what is all this nonsense some can't hear can't can't walk <laughs> still want to hold on to age 93 94 people in the other world are waiting to receive him <laughs> this man is delaying <laughs> indian railways <laughs> how long should it continue whereas in the daily life situation the elders will ready with the will ready this house will go this broomstick will go to this daughter <laughs> this tamarind parcel will go to the younger daughter you will everything but so far organizational positions till death i will continue <laughs> i don't know i don't know you mean to say that organization can afford that second hand personalities you have no energy you have no memory no new ideas or well, what is it that you do therefore i am not asking anybody to step down <laughs> because they don't do i know that and i am not anxious to occupy their position i am very healthy mentally happy <laughs> i am happy but the need to train youth youth camp the youth camp should be organized in such a way very attractive to youth 
i'll tell you how it should not then i'll tell you how it should be supposing i tell you how it should not 430 get up for nagar sankirtan <laughs> it should not <laughs> and then 10 to 12 bhajan <laughs> two hour bhajan they can do at home not necessary should not three personal experiences endless experiences how long how long how far how many times we know some people go on repeating i'll tell you i don't mention the name outside i'll tell <laughs> there's one gentleman who goes on repeating his helicopter experience i was going in helicopter swami saved my life and he went on improving his story that wing is loose and i could see the wind he considers the listeners are idiots or stupid i don't know and as the gentleman gets up swami starts telling everybody are wait for helicopter speech here <laughs> how many times you want to repeat that there is another another great man very elderly man he comes there to give a speech what did he do he went on reading paper by paper paper by paper. because of uh, memory he was reading the same paper again <laughs> <coughs> swami had to tell him that is over turn to the next page <laughs> this is the stuff we have and see this boy doesn't want to keep quiet <laughs> Thank you God bless you boy. Huh? Good. So oh, we can't question them some of things have become like that. It appears to me that Swami said you are not the body you are not the mind but he did not say you are not the position. So I can continue to die in position. <laughs> he did not say that you are not the mind you are not the body okay. but did he say you are not the position he did not say so i'll continue <laughs> so that apart we should not have a conventional method we should change we should change again in the evening 6 to 8 bhajans then meditation training <laughs> then we should no talk no talk all silence <laughs> this is more noisy <laughs> than observe the silence light lights off lights off and we know in puttapur the people say silence please silence uh, there's more noise <laughs> so we should discontinue all that see because so long father is alive so long father is alive all the mistakes of the children are tolerated all the blunders committed by children are accommodated when father is gone the fellows will face the music before it is too late let us wake up so it should not be traditional way what i wish sir if you so please please modify or forget about it if you think that what i say is not applicable not possible not feasible it's up to you what i would like a youth camp to be done is this we'll have morning yoga training people are going to other people for yoga classes because they will be bored <laughs> yoga training in 10 days 100 dollars is yoga so easy so cheap yoga meaning the one that connects you to god is connection with 50 dollars established i do not know i don't know so we can get somebody somebody we can get it get somebody to train to engage youngsters yoga training class 
some are interested in breathing exercise pranayama breathing exercises some will teach them uh, we have got among sai devotees experts but we want to be professional beggars what can we do we have got our own people but we don't want them that is pity somebody was telling on the way some people would like to beg they don't want to do any work because begging is simpler than that so we have got experts in our own field if we don't have experts we'll make them experts why not i'll suggest that also i won't leave you simply as a politician speaking something which is not practical largest number from south africa come to india each time largest number from no other country we have such big number visiting india prashanthalay i know that so when these people come and stay there for 15 days or so we'll contact some people there in india to train these people so that they can go and learn within that period why not yes why it is possible in america what is happening you know children born there they send their children to india during summer so that they will learn carnatic music and dance they come back most of the people do it why can't we in south africa do it why not not dance and music we we'll introduce them to some of the yoga teachers they can learn yoga from them two or three boys trained in yoga two or three boys trained in pranayama so that back home they can train everybody we don't want to bring all the stuff here they'll make it commercial again if you bring import to stuff like that it is adulteration delusion self praise useless no we should build our own resources because south africa is not short of leadership no south africa is not less of a talent in compared to other countries why not we will send these boys send eligible youth boys and girls to different teachers yoga teachers in the country so that they would come and do it so one is yoga two pranayama breathing exercise and three yoga not simply asana sitting postures yoga also meant yoga also meant what you call control of breath control of breath control of breath is necessary for long healthy life how to do that so these are the specialized specialties which we can take up in the morning a period before breakfast so youth who want go for jogging welcome that is the way those you want yoga yes here are the classes those you want some breathing exercises you may go over there yes so we will be ready with these things in the morning before breakfast why youth today they are very very intelligent very sharp but health wise they are not as strong as their parents father is healthier than the son grandfather is healthier than the son and the grandson because they led a disciplined life we don't have we didn't have this much of rat racing this much of competition this much of traffic i don't blame you i don't blame you no there are only there are only two vacancies two of us were called for an interview both of us got jobs that's all today is not like that you will find 100 applicants for each job so you are in a competitive world i understand and you are leading a luxurious life yes you don't have to walk you can sit there on a cushion chair work on the computer develop back ache very soon <laughs> back problems in bangalore today my friends it is a computer hub you see there most of the fellows receive 3 lakhs 4 lakhs salary but they lack health <laughs> what do you do with money what do you do 
all youngsters they want today good health to enjoy your own fruits of your labor to enjoy your own money enjoy life to enjoy life you need good health so health management in the morning before breakfast jogging or yoga or breathing exercises or pranayama or meditation classes what we will give in the application form what they like a fellow may like yoga a person may like meditation a person may like some breathing exercise whatever you like we don't force you to do it 430 nagar sankirtana we don't do <laughs> i don't do that that formula thing should be discontinued here after so we do that in the morning give them the training because so that we want our children to be healthy i want my children to be healthy and enjoy life not lead a sickly life that's what we do in the morning after breakfast we will have two or three talks of 45 minutes duration followed by 15 minutes discussion what are the topics not on ramayana and bhagavad gita bharata unity of faiths there's still time don't worry <laughs> not that my friend time management time management mind management personality development human excellence steps to success these are the titles i have given basing on sai literature yes our swami spoke on all these topics you know that i don't need to borrow anybody i don't need to quote anybody swami spoke on all these topics so let them go through the sai literature and there are certain classified books also on these topics i'll give particulars if you so desire for constraint of time i will be limiting because i i'm not going to meet youth again i want to tell all my views now so have two or three talks in the morning time management man management uh what you call uh human excellence step to success followed by 15 minutes discussion because the youngsters will have doubts let them ask their doubts that's the morning and in the evening in the evening after lunch what we can have is a kind of boys themselves making their presentations participants what is spoken in the morning by an expert same topic will be dealt by one of the participants you will talk on health management morning i speak on health management evening you speak on health management while all of you will be asking questions so that the topics will be repeated dinned into your ears absorbed followed by discussion then at just one or two hours that's all at 4:30 or so it's time we'll have cricket match cricket match why not we'll have soccer let girls have their own matches for them boys for their own yes girls whatever game they play yes they can have it huh? so boys can have these matches engage them what they like sir why do you say that yes such as i sports and games takes place annually every year when swami ankara sports why do you say that they are not spiritual are you spiritual first of all i want to know <laughs> to brand anything non spiritual first are you spiritual tell me what is not spiritual everything is spiritual so evening we'll have matches because sports and games annual festival in prashanthanalayam and sports and games are compulsory for students in prashanthanalayam why can't we have once again why not in youth camps sports and games two hours we'll serve the tea on the ground that will be why fine not that you come in a line sit there no no not necessary enjoy the fun have enough of fun enough of laughter and then we'll have dinner after din dinner we'll have music competitions instrumental music vocal music elocution 
mono action based on spiritual themes on spiritual anything you like suppose you want to speak about the message of mandela yes you are welcome you want to speak the message of gandhi ji welcome you want to speak on parallels between nelson mandela and gandhi ji you are most welcome you want to speak of Af- south african leaders yes you are welcome so we can have electrician competition we can have music competitions south african music very important don't develop your own gang here if you want please go back to your country <laughs> who wanted you to stay here please go back because unfortunately there are some people who organize their own gang i am from andhra pradesh i am from tamil nadu please go that state is waiting for you please go if you want to be here come on be loyal to this country yes speak on the culture of this land speak on the national heroes of this land have some kind of competitions music along this line and some dance and then one can retire go to bed next day valedictory function In that valedictory function we award them certificates and we award them some prizes small small tokens of love that is youth camp which is meaningful rather talking about all nonsensical things which are not important to them at this age and then we will suddenly come out with a book module handbook on youth camps let us do it we can do it i am here to extend every possible help to south africa youth yes this is a commitment help of any sort you want from me for the youth rather simply moving like place to place achieving nothing better i do something here in this country concentrated focused for the youth we'll have a handbook and we'll have the points like bullets as in computer not in detail nobody will have time to read pages just one two three points that's all and that handbook will give a guideline how to organize a youth camp that could be done and we should have awareness that swami will appreciate us such a sai organization should expand many youth should join there should be many more newcomers to our sai center that the gates should be open and we should take up certain activities that would draw the attention of the entire community we can have multi faith programs we can have symposium a symposium a discussion unity is divinity we will invite one professor one engineer one doctor one politician let us see unity is divinity but the president of the meeting the moderator should be thorough with sai literature because if any person goes out of tune he should be able to bring him back to the wavelength so we by these activities organizing colloquium electrician competitions music competitions devotional music competitions we can attract youngsters sai awareness drive among adults we can have them also a separate appraisal of sai movement to journalists media media we can go to media also and then we can have some special programs on tv we can have small nice playlets specially designed to convey baba's message my friends i do not know the time you have allotted to me but i am happy that i could convey what all that is bugging my head over the years i cannot sleep at home i tell you believe me or not because i have given my life to the organization 43 years at this stage when rome is burning nero started playing on violin i cannot do that this time for action immediately now or never swami left us 3 years over swami is withdrawal physical withdrawal 3 years he is ever present but physically he has withdrawn 3 years ago 3 or 3rd completed 3rd year yes at this juncture if we don't rise to the occasion and build up our image 
much faster than other contemporary organizations will be nowhere in this competitive world please take it from me we can only say i am great i am great i am great the other fellow will laugh at you behind because they know greater things therefore it is time to wake up come on wake up because we had been to that uh, what is it sir um uh, port elizabeth is it games park or what games park uh, i went there we saw cheetahs there lay watching our presence <laughs> when cheetah could get up why not a man why not a man and i saw the giraffes also and just greeting like that. <laughs> and how nicely they were walking do we know walking style that also we do not know giraffe walks in a beautiful majestic way yeah ostrich ah wow, is like a dance i saw all of them there they're watching i felt ashamed that human is not even equal an animal they are much better than us therefore my friends time to wake up come on i had been to nairobi east africa i, I had been to that masai mara masai mara where i saw lions and they came to know that not, not, no lion would ever harm you we just move in jeeps like that those that were sleeping shook their body are you not like a lion am i not a lion yes nara simha nara simha nara human being simha the greatest the leader can't we be like that therefore my friends i have come here to wake you up not simply to entertain you i have not come here to simply exhibit my talent in speaking any buffalo can do it <laughs> what all after all what is there i have come here as a sai worker in his mission for four decades would like to strive for the betterment of the organization because it is high time high time when there is some fire havoc you should go engines ready extinguish the fire you will not say saturday and sunday weekend i will come there by that everything will be reduced to ashes so if we do not rise to the occasion and rise to the occasion and build up our organization we will be missing an opportunity and baba will never be happy with us we are so happy to have been his contemporaries we are lucky to have been born at this age we are blessed to have seen him we are fortunate to have conversed with him and we should pay our debt of gratitude by building up a new generation of leadership pass on the legacy of his message the heritage of his mission prove worthy of sai baba thank you very much sai ram i just want to to thank you a lot for the youtube video satish included um we watched that video on youtube when you were in latin america mm-hmm. and you talked about how the ideals need to change from that time to now and we really appreciated that because there were some challenges where where some of the leaders said that you know you can't forge whatever swami said it's written down there and everything like that but after watching your video we really got motivated and probably you can touch up a little bit on that okay. i don't know yep good <laughs> you see there are some people that quote swami to their convenience it's wrong what he said to a person at one time is different from the version of another person 
when it comes out of the same person who heard from swami it will be diluted or exaggerated so we cannot go by personal individual instructions no then about written things written things you find some contradictions there simple example at one place he says god has nothing to do with money where there is money there is no god no institution should take money into consideration he tells clearly in the same breath at another time nakarmana na prajaya chage naike amrta tvamanshu you are the son of eternity you get into the gates of immortality through sacrifice only sacrifice meaning you have to give here money god has nothing to do two contradictions what do you mean i say this way to a fellow who thinks that he can buy god with his money that applies a miserly beggar who doesn't spend single pi think that he is godly though he is deadly it's time for him to realize that he should give money to give another example same book indian penal code lawyers one lawyer says he is the culprit another lawyer says he is not guilty same book it depends upon your interpretation so swami's literature is to be interpreted to the context not your convenience thank you and i really loved it when you said be a roman in rome yes and when you also mention like how swami says no boys and girls together in prashanti nilayam studying together but in venezuela because of the different culture you have to put them together as it is here in this country no problem so yeah we did really like that thank you for that video yes yes you have to observe basic point but not on we have to take the basic points into consideration and proceed supposing shoes one should not wear shoes correct same swami allowed doctors to sit on chairs with shoes in kolonta hall when they attended international medical conference for that situation this permission granted under normal conditions you should leave your footwear there and get you should not apply same principle you understand so take into account the situation and adopt that's what it is thank you relations and marriages this is a big point of discussion and i am meeting this question everywhere wherever i'm going <laughs> it's the hot topic <laughs> this seems to bother everybody the indian style is no man ever meets his wife before marriage mm. <laughs> the future wife <laughs> no man because in the year 1975 i think 1975 when i when i visited united states first time deputed by rotary international somebody asked me since how many years you know your wife before marriage i said i dare not <laughs> one should have guts to do that <laughs> so in indian practice well this problem doesn't arise of course now it is cropping up i don't see its total proof now globalization now slowly that practice is also going on vanishing in cities but it's not that full now what are swami's views on relationships and marriages one to adapt to the local situation better not have any relationships before marriage best thing number 2 if it 
happens if it happens we can't help it if it happens better we take the help and the guidance of parents if the parents say no yes put a full stop to that because parents know much better because this age it is only emotion that takes the first line not the judgment whereas parents will take into account the history of the family the nature of the person based on their experience in in your own interest 100% they advise you so my feeling is better we not have any kind of relationships and if we are to have relationship that is to be that is to be ended with a wedlock better we go to parents and take their advice also because marry in haste repent later that should not happen that should not happen life is not so cheap like that we should not make life so cheap and easy because the mental strain mental stress agony that one would have if it ends in a breakup it is incalculable he becomes so weak a psychological wreck loses all confidence why should such a havoc take place so parents counseling is very essential which can act as a guideline for any decision making thank you <laughs> silence practicing now they are hesitating is it proper to put this question or not will you like it or not will you, is it going to expose me my mom is sitting here Huh? Why? Well, <laughs> yes. Um, I have a very special question. Um, what was the best way to have a same-gender marriage? Pardon, what? Same-gender same marriage. Same-gender marriage. Same-gender marriage. Ah, yes, this question also. Somebody, Somebody whispered, whispered into, into my, my ear. ear. <laughs> From Joe Berg. <laughs> I am happy that you are free and frank. I appreciate you. God bless you. You should frank you. You don't need to have any fear after all. <laughs> really, the one that spoils us is fear even to ask a question. Then how do you face life? Yeah. What does Baba say on the matter? Anything that is unnatural unnatural relationship among people of the same gender which is unnatural is absolutely irreligious unethical and immoral it does not receive any divine blessing in particular because it is not natural religion is naturality religion is to be natural therefore the unnatural developments which are unhealthy are not endorsed by bhagwan baba in fact in one or two talks he referred indirectly in a sensitive manner such that message will go to those people for whom it is meant thank you uncle i've got a question um let's say I want to be the next youth convener and I eat meat I'm into alcohol heavy gambling clubs pubs but I'm considering to be the next youth convener what's your take on that I don't do any of those by the <laughs> the one who does not will never say that you know <laughs> good you see this is purely a spiritual organization in a spiritual organization direction of life attitude of life are more important in a social organization other things are different some some club invited me long back at my native place say around 40 years or 45 years ago i went there I I felt like fish out of waters. 
because I had to drink only water. <laughs> so we don't fit into any community because we have got our own set standards. Another example. <clears throat> Do you feel like <clears throat> attending a meeting where there is no discipline? No. Do you feel like attending a meeting where there is no silence? No. We got used to one kind of spiritual discipline as trained by Bhagavan Baba. So youth convener, if you want to be, wait for some time until you give up these qualities. Slowly, slowly. Don't try to give, the, give up these habits overnight. No. If you say, let me not smoke from this moment. <laughs> from tomorrow early morning, he'll start smoking. <laughs> Anything that decided immediately will recur with double compensatory effect. Because body is not such an easy thing. Mind is not such a simple thing to tackle with. Slowly, slowly, a fellow who smokes a packet, slowly, half packet. Slowly, one-fourth. Slowly, one or two. Later, none. Then that will remain. I shall not. He will smoke heavily. <laughs> That's not it. So slowly, slowly change will come. And when once we want some change, he will help us. He will help us. He will give us all the strength. Because you want to be good. All that is good is divine. So naturally he encourages, promotes us. Provided we make an honest, sincere, slow transformation. It's very important. Swami gives this example. You know the ceiling fan? The ceiling fan. Supposing you put off the ceiling fan, will it stop immediately? Slowly. If it stops immediately, it means it is spoiled, gone. Not useful, useful next time. <laughs> it stops slowly. Similarly, life is like a ceiling fan. Slowly you can transform. Then, the final point, it's not that I want to become a convener. People should want me to be the convener. Because there are some people where they manipulate. Let me be the principal, let me be the director, let me be that and this. They, man, they become. But when God selects, you'll get a good name. When you manipulate, you'll get a name better, I not say that. <laughs> so, by manipulation, you can never be popular. By manipulation, by calling your own gang to recommend your name, yeah. that, you may get a position, but no good name at all. When he selects, he ensures his performance, he makes you popular, and everybody will say, that is the best choice. So let's wait for that moment prayerfully. Thank you. Ah, now good. Uh -huh. Okay, one small thing, I'm not that if I do it. What if one of your parents, he has good intentions, but he, he wants you to focus on it. The education and, you know, and he doesn't like it when you get involved in the seva and you spend time in that kind of organization. Um, and also, like, if you do mess up with your work, then you have to tell... I got the point. I got the point. Parents will not appreciate you, will not permit you to do seva activity and they want you to study, concentrate on education. Understandable, because I am also a parent. Not only a parent, and a grandparent too. I can understand. But, but, if you do very well in studies, parents will be convinced that you are at your best because of the service activity. That you are standing class first because of your group singing. That you are top because of Sai activity. Let them know this Sai activity is making you grow more and more. Stand first, top in the class. I can give a number of instances. Number of in gold medalists that top people in service activities. You know that? But parents subject because 
if this fellow gets zero marks and 10 marks in the name of seva activity no parent will accept it no parent worth the salt so let us be at best of studies and the service activity will improve your concentration oh yes and will make the teacher give more marks also when he corrects the paper <laughs> because he'll get into his mind chalta hai come on come on so both of us thank you we read a beautiful saying today life is not about how many breaths we take but the moments it take our breath away and today you have made us laugh so much our breath is taken away It's this ultimate expression of the inexpressible which you have expressed to us today. The need of the hour is now and the time to do it. The need of the hour is here and now. <laughs> here and now. And we have not, this has been your final tour of South Africa, Cape Town. And we have not been counting the years, not the months. We've been looking at the hourglass for the final grain to pass through. when this beautiful moment to finally materialize and we can be with you thank you professor and we won't be able to sleep tonight waiting for your <laughs> message tomorrow if swami's word talk sweetly and softly is to be personified is this wonderful boy <laughs> swami defines phd doctor philosophy phd degree p for purity h for humility d for divinity he deserves that phd thank you Be always happy, 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 happy.